There's an old joke. Um, two elderly women are at a Catskill Mountain resort, <clears throat> and one of them says, boy, the food at this place is really terrible. The other one says, yeah, I know, and such small portions. Well, that's essentially how I feel about life, full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness, and it's all over much too quickly. The, the other important joke for me is one that's uh, usually attributed to Groucho Marx, but I think it appears originally in Freud's wit and its relation to the unconscious. And it goes like this, I'm paraphrasing. Um, I would never want to belong to any club that would have someone like me for a member. That's the key joke of my adult life in terms of my relationships with women. You know, lately the strangest things have been going through my mind because I turned 40 and I guess I'm going through a life crisis or something. I don't know. I, I, and I'm not worried about aging. I'm not one of those characters, you know. I, although I'm balding slightly on top. That's about the worst you can say about me. I, um, I think I'm going to get better as I get older. You know, I think I'm going to be the, the balding, virile type, you know, as opposed to, say, the um, distinguished gray, for instance, you know. Unless I'm neither of those two. Unless I'm one of those guys with saliva dribbling out of his mouth who wanders into a cafeteria with a shopping bag screaming about socialism. <sighs> Annie and I broke up, and I, I still can't get my mind around that. You know, I, I keep sifting the pieces of the relationship through my mind and, and examining my life and trying to figure out where did the screw-up come, you know? And a year ago, we were in love, you know? And, and, and I just, and it's funny, I'm not, a, I'm not a morose type. I'm not a depressive character. I, I, I uh, you know, I was a reasonably happy kid, I guess. I was brought up in Brooklyn during World War II. He's been depressed. All of a sudden, he can't do anything. Why are you depressed, Alvy? Tell Dr. Flicker. It's something he read. Something he read, huh? The universe is expanding. The universe is expanding? Well, the universe is everything. And if it's expanding, someday it will break apart, and that will be the end of everything. What is that your business? He stopped doing his homework. What's the point? What has the universe got to do with it? You're here in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is not expanding. It won't be expanding for billions of years yet, Albie. And we've got to try and enjoy ourselves while we're here, huh? Huh? <laughs>